So hi everybody and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 167 and in this video I want shortly to repeat again this uh, word delayed and default which we discussed in the default constructors. And the reason for that is I forgot to tell you of course that these two words are keywords and we already discussed at least this default, this delayed, we, ha uh, we have not watched now, but this default we already know as a keyword. And let me show you uh, what we know. So I hope you remember what default is, where we used it. Try to think about it till I found this default here, which is this one. So I open this one up. You can see it's a keyword and delayed is also a keyword. So these both are keywords and we used it in a switch statement. So you know that was the other case where we used the default. We know that a default statement, but this default has another meaning than the default in our class. That's very important. So don't mix them up, but it's important that you know this one is one use case is the switch statement which we already learned and now the new thing is actually there are different places now one is the class which we learned here this is the special member function here when i click on it you can see the special member function in classes uh, we have not talked about this section too i think but here um, they talk about this, uh, this special member functions and this default, con uh, default word as well. And this is one thing. And there is another place which we have not talked about the default, which is this comparison operator. Let me show you this one as well. But this one we will not talk because we have to talk first about operators in general. But just that you know that this keyword is, we know already this keyword default here in the place switch. And now we know it with uh, default constructors as well. And there is one more more point. This default is not only in default constructors because this default constructors, like we learned, is just another version of a function, right? It's a it's called here a special function, and the reason why it's special because this default con uh, because a constructor is a function, but specially made for classes with special features to construct a class and to initialize and has other things. And that's why it's called here a special function for um, here in this case, a special member function. But important is that this one, this default works also for normal functions. So not special function. What I mean with normal function is just normal functions. And I will make in a short an example. But before we go there, let me show you the other keyword as well, which is our delayed. Let's see where we use this. This one, I think we have not talked so far. So there are different uh, places as well. We have here a delayed expression. We will talk about this one uh, when we learned this new. We have not learned this new keyword. That's why we are not talking right now about it. And then we have here again something like the allocation function. We get, this is again. Uh, we are not talking the, uh, about this one as well. We need uh, to learn here this this kind of operator first. What is an operator? How an operator is declared and all this kind of stuff. Then we will understand this more in detail. But here, this is the part which we learned now. And this is this uh, in classes, how we use the late in classes or like I said, you can use it in functions. And here they show us you can use a delayed in a function and uh, what this is, we can have not read through. But right now I want not jump into this because I want finish first classes so that you know that we have to talk about this one when we make a repetition a little bit about how they used to, uh, let's say with examples in normal functions, but it's not too difficult. But that said, what I want to show you here more is something to 
make it a little bit more easy to understand, perhaps there is a nice website. I will link it in the description, which is uh, in Wikipedia. And here uh, they explain again one more time this uh, delayed and default keywords with classes and functions. We have talked a little bit about this, but here they explain it a little bit more in depth. And like I, I said all time, you should read when you watch this tutorial a book uh, or an online documentation with more depth because I, this is a practical video and practical video we can't uh, talk anyway um, uh, in depth about anything at the week. Our goal is more to use it, to learn to use it, not to understand it in depth. This understanding in depth you should do here. And here is, let's say, a easy explanation. It's not uh, formal, which means easy to explain. And the first line here is uh, important. And then we watch this examples here fast so that you understand. And the first line says, this one we can skip, this is just when it started, but it says here, for classes that do not provide them for themselves a default constructor. So uh, the, uh, I should read this one too. The compiler provides, and then we can go here uh, for classes. Uh, yeah, that do not provide them for themselves. A default constructor, a copy constructor, a copy assignment operator, and a destructor. And you can see this kind of stuff will be provided what you can see read here by the compiler and we know that when we we uh, we made only one example of this one and that was the default constructor right we talked about the default constructor when you are not providing a default constructor in the class the compiler will provide for you a default constructor what we have not talked so far is the compiler will not only the provide a default constructor, it will also compile, uh, provide other things, which is the copy constructor, the copy assignment operator, and a destructor, and all this kind of stuff we have not talked so far. And this is very important to know later to see that this delayed or default will, uh, when you read here a little bit more, uh, that this one will uh, make them, let's say you can delete them active and you can make the set them by default. So you can read here a little bit more because I'm not reading this one all, but important is that you understand, uh, you have more control with this, uh, keywords if you are using them. And uh, yeah, I think we should now make this example. Here's this, the, Example, this example we have already discussed in this tutorial. You can actively say use this default here um, when you have already uh, provided another constructor. Uh, yeah, but here important was that you should not provide a body, I said, because if you provide here a body uh, as a default with no body information, then you should use this one here because this one is better, so the compiler will know you. it should create it uh, for you. And then let's go to this one we already discussed, but this one we have not discussed. That was this delayed in normal function. And you can see here, this is a normal function. And important is, I said, if you select delayed, for example, and delay the constructor we talked about in a constructor that this constructor is not used. The constructor and functions are similar. I said only that the constructor is considered to be a special kind of function. And this one is considered as a normal function, but we can use the delayed word in both, like you can see. And here they make a very nice example. When you read this one, it says here, if you use here, for example, the delayed here in this function, it prevents, and that's very important, and you can see what happens here. It pre here. Uh, this is useful for preventing implicit type conversion. And this is the kind of stuff with this delayed all time. There is 
something happening behind the scene what i mean behind the scene it's when i say behind the scene all the time the compiler is doing something which we can't see it directly and here the compiler is doing sometimes uh implicit type conversion what was this implicit type uh, type conversion uh, again it is something like when you have here this is a good example actually we have here two functions right and you can see the same name and when two functions have the same name we know it is an overloaded function you can use that in c++ as long as you have here two different types and indeed we have here two different types and we know even what this one is without name it is just to distinguish this one from this one so that's nice but what means here now preventing implicit type conversion is for example you can call now this function with an argument right but you can write for example 1.0 and 1.0 could be go here because 1.0 is also an int or it isn't double so it could be both and if you make something like this one you can see if there is uh, a possibility that the compiler treat one number like uh, another type then you can explicitly and this one is explicitly explicitly means the programmer say don't use this one even if it's possible or even the compiler can convert a number to an int you should not use this one you should use this one and the, like in my example this 1.0 could be int could be also double and uh, the compiler would uh, probably make implicitly 1.0 to int which means it would just cut off the point and say okay this 1.0 is now one and that's it and all other things i don't care so and to prevent this you could make something like that just say no you are not allowed to do this and this is a good example i think to understand this and this one is for normal function but for constructors in classes it's the same rule right if you have there two similar constructors or more constructors you can prevent this implicit type conversions or other things uh, as well this one we skip we have not talked about templates and here we have again the class where we are and here you can see uh, there are there are more uh, now we have not talked about this one here and this one here and that is exactly this line here on top what i showed you there is a, a implicitly created by the um by the compiler this copy constructor this copy assignment operator and destructor these are all time implicitly created and here this example shows no you should not do this one you should not do this one i don't allow you that uh, for whatever reason now uh, the programmer here said no i want not that the compiler should create here this uh, in this case we can see this one looks like a, a copy whatever <laughs> and this one uh, this is probably a copy constructor this one is probably an assignment operator or something like that i don't know uh, i have to check it anyway here because here you can assign something here you have the same uh, same uh, object here as well as a reference and so on anyway the point is you are not allowed to do this right so that is uh, that is here this uh, yeah this is here this telling this way explicitly and that's very important you tell it explicitly means the programmer says no compiler you are not allowed to do this and this is um, let's say a little bit at once so at start uh, as a starter don't worry if you don't know this now we have not even talked about this copy constructor now copy assignment operator we will talk when we uh, learn about operators a little bit more and destructors we will talk soon actually and about this other one probably to this copy constructor as well and so but important is that you should just know that these keywords are used to yeah to explicitly which means 
with the knowledge of the programmer the programmer makes this actively deleted because for any reasons in his program so i think that's okay so far and now you know that we have this kind of stuff and yes we will talk more about constructors because we are still not finished and you learned right now that there are different kind of constructors as well like this other things here and the structure as well so there are much things to learn but that was a repetition which was very important i think because just forgot to tell you that these are keywords as well and they have different places with different meanings but we learn step by step them and yeah with that said i stop here if you have any questions any complaints like all time don't worry write it in the comments and with that said all time don't give up and good luck bye